so uh, the purpose of starting this course was to make everyone aware of what all is there in product management how do we prepare for the roles that are there and uh, finally many people reached out to me for interview prep so we'll cover that part as well uh, essentially you know this if you do this course from end to end if you are very sincere throughout the course uh, you will be ready for interviews by the time you graduate out of this course which means that about uh, one month down the line i think if you've done this course properly you would have uh, you you will be able to you know sit for interviews apply on linkedin for opportunities for product management internships and so on um let me present my screen now let me know if you can see my screen now let's talk about what all i'm going to cover in the course so first i'll give you a brief idea of the careers that are there in product then what are the terms used uh, used in startup world because product management is a field that is very closely related to the entire startup ecosystem and even if you consider the job of a product manager right it very closely resembles the job of a founder because end of the day most founders uh you know end up building a product from scratch and all that all the activities that are involved are very very closely related to the job of a founder so uh that's where we need to understand that there's a connect so uh, many people want to pursue product management only because it gives them a good advantage in order to you know uh, launch their own startup it gives them good it gives them all the skills that are required almost all the skills that are required in order to uh, in order to uh, launch their own startup at some later point of time so i think this is one field that you can pursue for if you want to launch your startup somewhere 5 uh, years 10 years down the line and you need to be aware of all the terms that are used in the startup world that is because many times when we talk about pms uh, they are owners of product we people used to people still say this that they are owners of product they uh, you know they are very they, they are integral parts of the entire startup ecosystem and all, a lot of terms we use need to be known by um, everyone so the startup world uses terms like ab testing uh, mvp or even you know agile methodologies all this you need to know because in your day to day job as a product manager these terms come handy so that is there next i'll talk about some communities that you need to join uh i'll i think the next slide covers this only and then some product management concepts before we move on to the interview questions so interview questions would consider would uh, comprise of you know product design improvement strategy product metrics root cause analysis uh problem solving all these are types of interview questions and you need to prepare specifically for these uh types of interview questions uh yes yes i'll i'll share the slides i'll share all these slides with you um okay other skills so these are some skills that would not be required for you to crack the interview as such but these are these are just like uh brownie these these would provide you with brownie points when you sit for interviews and these are essential skills once you start your job as a product manager right so these skills include uh, wire framing writing product requirements documents then uh, some tech understanding like apis uh, deep... so how many of you know what api is just type a yes in the chat box uh okay about 5 5 people okay many people many people so you all know what an api is which is uh, great it is not a requirement as such but it is uh, helpful if you, you know for some companies it is really helpful if you know apis for sitting in the interview processes of some companies then uh, okay how many of you know database databases uh type a yes in the chat box if you know databases 
okay sql and you know rdbms dbms all of that all right all right okay got it so i think um anyway these skills are not uh, essential these skills are not required but it is a good to have so these these are good to have skills um these are extra skills that we'll probably cover now we might not cover all of these skills but we'll touch upon some of them and finally preparing for interviews um this is where we'll uh, you know we we would start getting ready for the interviews this is where you will prepare for the online tests uh you i'll even i think spend about uh, one hour talking about how to make the perfect product management resume and finally we'll look at uh, you know case home assignments which are usually the round one of product management screening uh, processes so round one is usually uh, round two sorry round one is usually an online test round two is uh, usually a case home assignment and then we look at behavioral and leadership questions followed by some guest sessions so i would try to include guest sessions in between uh, so that we cover you know topics some specific topics can be covered by some uh, different people but anyway we'll try to have some guest sessions uh, throughout the course and i'll also help you with some internship and placement opportunities you would need to have the right connections on linkedin and you need to follow the right set of people for product management uh, for product management linkedin can really be leveraged uh, because most of the product hiring that takes place uh, in india i'm not aware of all the other countries but india definitely most of the product hiring that takes place uh, is done through linkedin uh, so linkedin is definitely one thing that you need to leverage in order to get very good internship and placement opportunities so i have seen people getting exceptional packages through you no know, some opportunities on linkedin so particularly uh, based on uh, product so that is there uh, okay since i have touched upon all these things i just want to quickly cover the four step process that i recommend to everyone right uh, this is a very generic process and i think anyone can uh, you know anyone starting from scratch can cover all these four steps very easily so first step is learning uh, which you are doing through pm102 you can do this through an online course or a boot camp most of the boot i think all of the boot camps are paid and uh, online courses as well so online courses might not give you the practical aspect but they can at least give you the theoretical part so for practical part i would recommend boot camps right online training live boot camps that can really be helpful uh, and i'll talk about some of these boot camps in the next slide and then the application part now this might just cover the theory aspect right uh, might not cover you know all the parts uh, that are needed for a product manager all the skills that are needed for a pm because the theory part is just you know uh, one out of 10 it's just one part out of uh, all the skills that you require so you need to apply and that is where you need to uh, solve case studies even you can even take part in competitions uh, all the internship and placement opportunities make you uh, write an assignment before the process this is just like a round 1 or round 2 of the entire uh, placement hiring process so assignments is very important and that also gives you a lot of practice for making your next set of uh, case studies so assignments and case studies are two very common uh, even i did a lot of solved a lot of assignments and uh, built case study decks which were really helpful for me uh, during my placement season and internship season as well so that is there and again the hands on experience part comes only after an internship now the for product management uh, if you have one internship it can really change the game i might not recommend internship for every fields but for product management internships are really really recommended that is because this is one field which you learn only by doing right and i am not the first one who will say this everyone says the same that product management is 
one of the very few fields that you would learn i mean every field you can learn by doing but product management is definitely one field that you will learn only if you do only if you uh, build products launch products and go through that entire life cycle so make sure that you do one internship at least one internship before you sit for the placements so that is uh, that can be really helpful now this is not a make or break kind of a scenario if you don't have an internship you can still get a good job but the chances are then very less if you have an internship the chances increase dramatically so hands on experience can be really really helpful uh, and final part is you know once you get an internship you can apply on linkedin and you can even uh, go to platforms like angel.co uh intern shala and many other platforms you can so i have uh, i have myself float a lot of opportunities through whatsapp and telegram groups so maybe you know some of these telegram groups can be really helpful for getting for at least viewing some of these opportunities all right so uh, some of the communities that you can join uh now both of these are online boot camps live training boot camps now this is these both of these are slightly cheaper doremon den and producthood this is the producthood apm fellowship program something like that and these three are i think slightly more expensive so these are complete end to end programs that these are just like short courses or the appraised one is just like a short degree a micro uh, or a nano degree kind of a thing right and um the next leap is another apm fellowship program so if you get selected you pay some uh, fees and then you and then you uh, are placed in some company as a product analyst or a product manager and then there's this uh, community as well i think this this part will get covered in pm 102 so you might not need to uh, look at these things but joining a slack channel is usually helpful so maybe look at uh, you know these slack channels the product tree product folks uh, the product school is a is an international slack channel and creators of product mind the product these are other uh, slack channels so what do i mean so uh, okay i think many people might not understand what a slack channel is or what this community is so basically uh, it's just like a whatsapp group and for people who've not heard about slack it is just like whatsapp but it's a, it's a more professional way of messaging and it's for uh, organizations for companies when you go in your organization you will be messaging other employees not via whatsapp but via slack so there are uh, open slack channels right just like an open telegram uh, community right where you can join the community you can subscribe to the community these are just like those slack channels which are open to all and they have no limit as such uh, limit of the number of members so basically these slack channels are th both of these slack channels are indian the product tree and product folks and this one is an international slack channel with about uh, i think 70 80000 people and then these are other slack channels and both of these also i think are uh, international slack channels but definitely join this one because this is uh, i think this was the first product community that was there and this is the one with most product managers this is the most global community and the largest community of product that you will find so just go to google and search for the product school slack channel and you will find the link or whatever the product folks slack channel and you will find the link right all right so i've covered the initial parts in a bit of a hurry because these are not related to the course content as such these are related to uh, overall upskilling and learning more how to learn more all of that uh all right and before i move on to um, the concepts part before i move on to pm concepts i just want to tell you that there are there are broadly two career options for uh, entry level product management roles one is apm which is associate product manager and second is pa which is product analyst right 
um and then there are other roles like product engineer um product consultant product owner all of that but for entry level roles we have mostly associate product manager and product analyst which means that after your btech degree uh, or your mtech degree you would most likely be either an apm or a product analyst and after these roles you get to the pm level which is product manager right and in large companies you will find that there will be a pm 1 2 3 pm 1 pm 2 pm 3 just like sd 1 sd 2 sd 3 right after which you will probably be a senior pm uh Uh, yeah senior pm and then maybe uh, director of product right and after director you might be a vp of product uh, which is vice president of product and post which you might uh, you know the top of the ladder would be a cpo which is a chief product officer which is just below the ceo level and uh, as uh, you can see in many examples of history many of these vps and cpos have gone to become ceos of the company for example sundar pichai satya nadella and so on so these people uh, were initially product managers at some point of time and uh, after some years they went on to become ceos of uh, big tech companies um all right any questions till now Uh, or any anything you want to discuss anything at all all right uh, so we'll move on and okay reference books uh, i'll cover that in a later lecture i'll cover that in some other session there are a lot of things that we need to discuss with respect to books also i'll recommend uh, five or six very good books and then maybe some extra readings if you want to read more books so i'll over in total i'll recommend about uh, 9 to 10 books but yeah i mean i've not read all of them so you should get some recommendations from other people as well <laughs>